ไหมครับปูชเกตฟอร์สิสฟรีแต่คุณว่าเกตฉันไปคุณ1000ไม่ฉันจะให้คุณ400ไม่ฉันจะทำเองฉันจะทำเองแค่นี้เล่นลอร์นอว์เพลย์แม็กซ์ไทม์มาสเตอร์ดัลบอยแต่นั่นไม่ใช่การเล่นนั่นคือการฝึกหัวใจนะครับทุกคนจะได้ยินผมพูดหนักมากเพราะฉะนั้นผมรู้สึกว่าด้วยการที่ทำงานนี้คุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงคุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงและคุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงในขณะที่ผมทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงและคุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงในขณะที่ผมทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงและคุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงในขณะที่ผมทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงและคุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงในขณะที่ผมทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงและคุณจะทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงในขณะที่ผมทำงานอย่างแข็งแรงและคุณจะ A very big challenge for you to keep fit, and at the end of the day, you you can even become obese if you don't if, if you're not careful. So when I realized that, I've decided that uh, I'm going to be doing practices every morning before my trips. I'll always be starting with doing some a few exercises just to keep uh, my body fit, to uh, you know enable digestion go on well, enable circulation of blood go on well, you know, and metabolism to happen really well, so that. I don't want to be looking like this, guys. I don't want at the end of the day I look like this. I just want to be fit. So that's why I was doing that. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is uh, the Time Master Ke, the real uh, village boy. And today I'm starting this video from this point here. And this is a road that uh, leads you from uh, Bungoma town, guys. You know that uh, I've been. I I was hosted with my friend in Bungoma town, which is a few kilometers this side. And then. This side takes you to a border town called Malaba border. So this border is a uh, is like the border town between Kenya and Uganda. And guys, today we are going to ride this direction towards the border, and uh, we pray that uh, we might be able. Let's see if we'll be able to cross the border. And uh, if we cross the border, we'll uh, do adventures in Uganda, guys. So. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Uh, that might be our first country that we are riding into, but uh, we're not, uh, we not guaranteed of that because I don't have uh, like the necessary documents, so I don't want to do something that might get us into trouble. Once I get there, the border, I'll inquire if uh, we can cross to the other side. Uh, if we do that, well and good. If that doesn't happen today, guys, we'll be riding across uh, along the border. We'll get to the border town, and then we'll be riding now north. You know, uh, just along the border of uh, Kenya and Uganda. You know, exploring nice views, nice you know sceneries. So we'll go north along the border uh, towards what we call Mount Elgon. Guys, Mount Elgon is the second largest mountain in Kenya, and uh, it's also part of the border between Kenya and Uganda. So we'll be riding along Mount El along the border and along Mount Elgon. Very, very, very demure views, guys. Very nice views that you don't want to miss uh, on today's video. So please watch the video up to the end. And uh, you know, I know, I know you love it. You love it. So let's get prepared and uh, let's get going. So after getting, actually, let me finish uh, with the direction that I'm taking the plan of today. After getting to Mount Elgon, I'll continue riding north. Uh, uh, you know, up to a place called uh, Swam, which is another border between Kenya and Uganda. So I'll be riding to uh, to Swam. I'll write the names here so that you guys can get them uh, clearly. I'll ride to Swam, and then from Swam. I can go to a place called Kitale. Kitale is my hometown, guys. So I'll be riding to Kitale town. If everything goes well, we'll get to our home. If it doesn't get well, we'll just uh, maybe if we will get to Kitale or if we will not get to Kitale, we'll spend the night where we'll be, and then uh, the next day we'll continue with the journey. So guys, please watch this video up to the end. You know I have amazing stuff for you guys lined up. Don't miss out. 
and if you have missed my previous videos i know you know some of my previous videos did not do that well so i understand some of you might have missed it please go back and watch my previous video so that you can understand this journey from where i started i started in yabohansi i crossed lake victoria i went and discovered some nice hidden gems i mean all that so go back and watch those videos and then uh, let's continue watching this video guys today is sunny looks good the weather but uh, you know we are ready for surprises if it decides to rain but uh, today if uh, the rain decides to to rain it will be in for a rude shock guys R the rain will be in for a big surprise so we are not worried let me put it that way keep watching the video you'll know why i'm saying we are not worried or the rain is in for a big shock <laughs> you'll understand anyway right now if you've noticed guys uh If you have noticed guys, this road is full of a lot of trucks. A lot of trucks are passing through this road and most of them are going this direction. So this is because, uh, one, Uganda is a landlocked country. This means they don't have uh, access to an ocean. So most of their imports, because most of this, like even heavy stuff imports are done through the ocean and the ships, Uganda cannot be able to do that on its own. So their imports are done through Kenya and, most, and uh, sometimes through Tanzania the port of Mombasa and sometimes the port of Dar es Salaam so when the things are shipped through the port of Mombasa they are transported with these trucks here they will be transported with these trucks to the border town which I am headed to uh, the Malaba border and then they are crossed over to Uganda so that's why you will notice that there is a lot of trucks here and uh, most of them most of them are speeding so much so i'll have to be very careful with these trucks on the road uh because you know i don't want to mess up in any way so i'll be very careful with that but guys also keep me in your prayers but that's uh why we have a lot of trucks because they are shipping things to uganda which is a landlocked country actually uganda is not far from here right now i think we'll be around uh, 30 kilometers 30 clicks th that way so let's uh, hit those 30 kilometers get to the border town see if we are gonna cross to the other side and then uh, continue riding or continue with our journeys anyway thank you so much for watching let's keep watching let's uh, hit the road and our baby is right here very ready to conquer the roads you know i love this boy this boy has really served me no this is a baby girl for me <laughs> i love really served me very well and i'm super 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 happy because of that so let's keep waiting i don't want to make this uh, introduction so long and guys let's explore kenya and as usual i always say i explore i travel and i share my experiences with you and uh, we are all and we are all happy so yeah let's now get ready and uh, get going inside a shell petrol station so that uh, we can uh, add fuel I see there's a shell petrol station ahead so let's add some gas guys Can I pay with card? Can I pay with my card? Yeah? Okay. So guys, I'm here to fuel and uh, because apparently I'm, I'm running out of fuel. 
and I had to confirm faster because I don't have cash. I don't have cash. So I'm going to pay with this. This is my bank's uh, card. So you see, we now have a full tank. And now we are ready to hit the road again. Now normally, this part of the road here is always filled with uh, trucks. You'll always find a long line of trucks parked here, just on the road. Oh, I think they, they have started. Look at these guys. You see, these are all trucks, they are waiting to be cleared at the border. So you can imagine a whole line of all these trucks just parked here, causing uh, traffic. And sometimes it extends to something like even uh, three kilometers or four kilometers away from the border, just trucks parked here. So today is actually better, today it's way better. I think the government should uh, I think the government should create a separate route or a road that these uh, trucks should be using because this uh, creates unnecessary congestion in town but guys welcome to Busia not Busia guys welcome to Malaba border this is the border between Kenya and Uganda one of the busiest and most crazy borders uh, because of the activities that goes on here. A lot goes on here. You see? Look at this. They're all trucks. And these are all headed for Uganda. that so I think the government should consider you know creating or even if it's not a separate road uh, that goes out of town they can create a, a separate lane you know like expand this road create a separate lane for the trucks so that even if uh, there's congestion even if the trucks are so many they don't affect uh, the other road users they don't affect traffic but guys this is a uh, malaba town guys you can see th that's already like one kilometer of just this line of tracks and the other days it goes up to four kilometers imagine that But with the, with the positive side is uh, business here thrives because most of people need accommodation, these truck drivers will need food, they will need some few shopping, you know, maybe they will need to take a shower. So most probably uh, business here is blooming. Business people here are really making it good.
trucks everywhere, trucks uh, left, trucks right, trucks crossing the road, buses, motorcycles, I mean everything. So guys, welcome to Kenya's most crazy borders. This is Kenya, the craziest border that Kenya has. Or rather, the busiest. I don't know what's the procedure out here, so let me find a place to ask anyone. Because I don't want to get on... Uh, I don't want to get on the wrong side of... Uh, of the law. But can I cross just to the other town up to the other town? Am I allowed? Up to Nororo. No, I just want to uh, yeah, 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 yeah. that, the, the place, the at least the nearest town. Yes. So it's Tororo. Uh -huh. So we do we can get a gate pass. A gate pass. Yeah. Uh, how much is the gate pass? Gate pass is free, but uh, facilitation. Uh, facil uh, I'm uh, an agent. Uh, facilitation in your part of Uganda, you got like 1,000. This side and the other side. 1,000? Can you see On One part to Uganda. We are going this, this side. So gate pass is free, but... Uh, you was the agent, I, I pay you 1000. No, I want to tell you the truth. Pardon? Uh -huh. I want to tell you the truth. Yes. But, but the service. The thing, the thing is free, but I don't buy you. But oh, that, 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 that's, that's too much. That's, I, I'm, I, I should even stamp my passport and just go. Why, why should I pay you 1,000? But the service is too much. 1,000 is too much. How much? Uh, 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 uh. yeah? 1,000 is way too much. <laughs> a travel permit here is just a 350. And no. Passport, this thing is great. Yes, perfect. that's what I'm saying. If I want to cross, I can, maybe I just now go and stamp my passports. Yeah, which is all free again. I, I, yeah, it's free. Anyway, but so you charging me 1,000 is too much? We are talking. Yes. Yeah, the distance a bit. Yeah. The distance a bit. You yeah. can go with your motorbike. That's, yeah. that's why I need for the service. But the thing is free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, 1,000 is free. How much are you? 1,000 is free. As a friend, yeah. so You, as a friend, you should have even asked me for a small fee. Like, just uh, considering it's a free service, <laughs> like 200, that one I will give it honestly. But yes, sir, I can go, I can also go and do it myself. Okay, let me go. Is that this, sir? Let me go do it myself, then. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't pay such amount. So, yeah. 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 Uh, no. No. So, you go Yes. So, uh, it's a red problem. Pardon? It's red is not fair. Uh, he's asking, uh, uh, just a gate person, he wants to me to give, pay him 1,000. Uh, you, you'll be 400. Uh, yeah, no. 400. No, I'll do it myself. Just, just forget it. I can't pay that part. How much? Oh, no. as yeah. We are talking as brothers. Give me 400. How much? Up to Uganda. You, you, you see, yeah? You, you, you add something. You add, they are doing your willing on your hand. Give me your, your, your ID only. Yeah. 400, I do for you. Oh. That, that, that's something I can do personally. You know, I'm not a visitor, so you're charging me that much. No. From a thousand let, 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 let me just see from my, my own. Because I, I, wanted, I wanted to share with you guys, but now... It's expensive. You're gonna take 200, I'll let you do, just to support you as a brother. You cannot take, I take. If you cannot take, you'll take. <laughs> and, so and, and, and now he wants. Yeah. And decide. And now he wants. So is it painful? <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's about communication. It's yeah. it's about communicating as well as. In fact, he's willing to support. Bring your ID. Bring your ID. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm with you. Oh, you, 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 you have agreed on that? Yeah, no problem. Okay, let me just do it. Let me give it. But it was hitting your hand. But, but you just know that I'm supporting you because I'm a local exactly. and these are things I can do on my own. Exactly. exactly. So was, I don't. Was, was using a sledgehammer. Yes. You divide your head. Just a moment. Just a moment. Ah, <laughs> 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 So guys, this is the customs or immigration grounds and I just want to cross to the other side. The guy wants to help me to get a free service but wants to charge me 1000 for free service. Where? Okay. Have you ever seen that? Eh, <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good. So, so. How many is it? Uh, just 250. 250? Yes. It's a nice ride. Yeah? Uh, thank you. Yeah? yeah? On your way back, yes. remember to come here and uh -huh. collect your ID. Don't forget. Where? Come, come. Come with this one. Okay, can I go? Give you an ID. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the two pay idea. Is how? Yeah. So guys, I'm at uh, the customs uh, ground here in uh, in Malaba, and uh, you know, I just want to cross to the other side of Uganda, not far away. I have a gate pass here that will allow me just to be within the town, just around here. So right now I'm here. You see. This is a Kenya Revenue Authority and uh, actually guys I've met a couple of friends here and a couple of fans and uh, you know I'm super excited you know to to make these kind of adventures uh, out here hi <laughs> I, 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 I'm super excited to make these kind of adventures because you know when you go out uh, this way you meet friends you meet fans you know and uh, it's a good thing because you are you expanding your reach you expanding your growth and yeah that's important let me say hi 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 how are you? Good, good. Yes. Uh, guys, uh, these are a couple of friends and fans that I've met here. And uh, <laughs> hi, Ma. Hi, how are you? Yes. Your names, please? Uh, Jackie. Jackie? Yes. And Maggie. And Maggie. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are 
Kenya Revenue Authority officials. Yes. Wow. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, guys, I met a, a friend here. Byron. Uh, and uh, you? Byron. Yeah, Byron. Yes. Yes, yes. So I can see you guys are doing something here, the carry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, it's uh, uh, October, which is uh, a taxpayer's month. Yes. And then this week, uh, we have the customer service week uh -huh. across all institutions. So mm -hmm. in Kiare, we are celebrating the customer service week at this uh, border post, that yes. is the Malaba, yes. uh -huh. Yeah. So we have uh, lined activities for the week. OK. Yeah, and today we are planning to storm a market here okay. to assist taxpayers. Uh -huh just around uh, the OSBP here yes. and again uh, for the week we are going to hold some meetings with the MSMEs okay so for the better part of the week uh, we are just stuck here bringing our services closer uh, to the people of Malaba so quick question yes, yes. like specifically what service like personally I'm a taxpayer yeah. what service can you offer me right now what do I need to do like um, and uh, the services depends for you. For example, right now, if for example you wanted to check your status, mm -hmm. your compliance status, mm -hmm. so we just need your ID number yes. and we just check uh, the computers are over there. Yes. We just key in your uh, ID number on the system. We see if you're compliant. If you're not compliant, we assist you mm -hmm. so that you'll be able to be compliant. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I want to believe I'm compliant. We're going we to check that. Can I? Yeah, uh, yeah, the sun is too much. <laughs> Guys. So. I want to believe I'm compliant, yeah, but sure, uh, yeah. one thing, sorry, yeah? Yeah. one thing, uh, I understand that there was some time back, mm -hmm. I had uh, problems, I didn't file my returns, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. way back around, I think, 2013 there, mm -hmm. so I didn't know, Yeah. you know, I didn't have, like, the knowledge that I'm supposed to file returns, mm -hmm. so I understand I have some debt, debt for you guys, yeah. um, um, later. <laughs> I understand I have some debt for you guys, yeah. so how can you help me? Um, okay, for now, uh, if you did, because okay, yeah, when we were finishing, uh, um, uh, when we were closing the financial year that just ended, mm -hmm. there was amnesty mm -hmm. for whoever that had those liabilities that you're talking about, those yes. ones for 2000 for not filing the returns. Yes. Yeah. But for now, what we can do, we can make sure you have to, you have filed your returns. Mm -hmm. If you are able to pay the debt, you can pay. But if you're not able to pay the debt, mm -hmm. uh, probably the government might decide to bring another amnesty just like the one that ended because you see, they come. Always. Well, well I, I think I'll have to look out <laughs> yeah. and wait for the amnesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> because, I, guys, I didn't know that I'm supposed to file. <laughs> but uh, right now, I've been filing my returns. Uh -huh. Right now, I'm okay. But if you've but, been filing, mm -hmm. maybe you did the amnesty thing worked on your pin. We, okay, we will check their uh, advice. Oh, okay. Yes. Guys, uh, we are talking about, you know, uh, if you're not Kenyan, uh, here we always... Uh, Actually, by every end of financial year, can yes. I call it that? Yes. You have to file your taxes. I know that happens in every country, from wherever you are. So, uh, what happens if you don't find a, file a return by the end of your financial year? There is uh, always a penalty that is put on you, and you have to pay. So, for me, back then, I had uh, my, you know, my care pin, but I didn't know that I'm supposed to file returns every year. Yeah. And now I have some debt that I'm supposed to pay which I think uh, is around 15,000 Kenyan 15, shillings. Uh, yes, around there, I can't remember really well. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm just, uh, I've been told there's always amnesty. So I'll be waiting to see when the government, uh, you know, announces that. And then I'll... <laughs> and maybe to add to maybe your viewers and followers, yes. it's always good to know our status, mm -hmm. you see. Yes. Maybe you have yes. friends who maybe traveled outside the country, you know, mm -hmm. but they are Kenyan, mm -hmm. or rather they are non-Kenyan, non-residents, but they normally come to Kenya and use their carry pins. Mm -hmm. The least you can do to your carry pin is to just file your returns between yeah. January and June of every financial year. Yes. You see, like for example, uh, for this financial year, the, it's going to start by January uh -huh. next year up to 30th June of next year oh, okay. for 2024. Oh, so okay. just always do that because it will. That is that is the first point of making sure you are compliant, mm -hmm. regardless of you are employed or unemployed, oh, as non -employed. long as you have a care Wow. Yeah, so guys, so you you, you had you had me guys or you had it right. So you have to make sure you file your returns, even you're, if you're Kenyan and you're abroad, you have to file. And these are things that you really need to do because uh, sometimes. Uh, you might see like it's something normal or uh, you just uh, ignore and then at the end of the day you need to do something and you realize that you have a problem with your pin. True, true. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Let's keep watching. I'll be checking my status, my carry pin, and then I uh, will cross over to Uganda just for a quick uh, view and then we'll come back and continue with our journey. Stay tuned.
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, uh, they have decided to gift me here some bananas. <laughs> oh, okay. You need some energy. Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Have you guys subscribed to my channel? Yes, we need I have. To. We are going to. Yeah, please. Myself, I have. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you guys need to do that. Because I need I to see the video. Stuff. You want to see the video? Yes. Look at it. Can you see it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I do like lifestyle and everything, so I record almost everything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Travel, mm -hmm. lifestyle. So you're you're camera shy. You can. I'm not recording you, I'm recording myself right now. Your camera is showing, madam. Yeah, I just want to go see just here and then I'll come back. I want to go through Loakaka to Swam and then to Kitale. I head uh, towards Lodwa. When it rains, how do you maneuver well, when it's raining? It, you shelter, but uh, I have also rain gear that I can put on. Mm -hmm. You don't get rain when you are a biker. <laughs> There's a difference between Okada and uh, <laughs> where, uh, you can have I put away this. We'll just, we, okay, we, we'll just dispose them. Okay. Mm. All right, we'll keep watching. Yeah, please uh, keep watching and always uh, you can drop me a comment and tell me from uh, uh, Malaba border. Yes. Yeah. Sure, we need to be noticed. <laughs> Yeah, guys, Byron Okoto. You, 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 you have any social media? Yeah, I have. Okay, well, if I, people need I to, I am on Facebook. You are on Facebook. Yeah, as Byron, Byron Okoto. Okoto. Uh -huh. uh, I, I once had a YouTube channel. Actually, I'm a sign language interpreter. Wow. Oh. But mm -hmm. uh, since now the nature of my work, you know, I, I didn't like get most of the time to post videos because you know you have to get time for that yes but sometimes you talk maybe even go ahead in a boy in a but oh. i also have a youtube channel okay. Baron Okoto, sign language interpretation oh, okay so, yeah, i offer that okay guys go check out Baron Okoto on facebook uh for me this is what i do i, I i'm a full-time youtuber i make uh, youtube uh, full time okay. videos full-time I'm also an upcoming biker. <laughs> also an upcoming biker. <laughs> get one, get one and enjoy. Anyway guys, thank you so much. Let's cross to the other side. Look at you. 